Where, what? Sir? Where, sir? Rashida, you and you and her are Move not coming in here. Are you serious? I Check under the bed too. <laughs> really? He's oh. not in here. Turn down. Are you serious? I'm not him. Hello, Rashida. Hello. Are How you, you see the scene? We, do you do you see what's going on here? <laughs> well. Oh. Wait a minute, hold up. I don't know the full details. Scrappy called me and was like, yo, it went down. And I'm like, what the f that happened? Scrappy, my homeboy, I've known Scrap for a minute. So when he hit me up and called me and told me that him, Jocelyn, Stevie J, and Erica got into a fight, I was like, yo, this is crazy. Your baby daddy was all in the mix. What the hell going on with him? This is what I know. At her showcase, mm -hmm. he called her out of her name. It was real disrespectful. Who, who does wait, wait, wait. He called Erica. Erica. He don't even know her. Never seen her day in his life. That's why Scrappy ass went goddamn ham. You can't say nothing about somebody disrespecting somebody, baby mama, especially when they don't know each other. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what happened? He was sitting at the table mm -hmm. and with her hey. Jesus. She is. <laughs> it's been two days since the fight, and I am still highly upset that Jocelyn accused me of sleeping with Stevie J. I gotta meet up with my girls and talk about this. We met up, me, him, Scrap, and he had some girl with him, Jocelyn. When she walked up, everything about her just read <laughs> not just look. <laughs> and, <it was> like, <laughs> Anywho, and, okay. soon, and you know, as soon as Stevie walks out, I'm like, it's me, the bitch. You okay. know, right. he come out. Oh. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm like. Oh, but then she just comes out of nowhere. It's like, but didn't y'all f me and You and Stevie. Me and Stevie. Did you and Stevie? Me and Stevie. Oh, Lord. I am sick and tired to hear the name Jocelyn come up every time I hear Stevie's name come up. Now, this bitch is fighting for him like she his main chick or something? This just confirms everything I've been feeling about Stevie and his bull. What did Scrap do? He swung on Stevie. Like, oh, he, he swung okay. on so Stevie. Thinking, and okay, let's crank this. Like, look, okay. Okay. ATL. <laughs> that's what yeah. it's like, look, that's what she, she cranked it. I'm going to finish it. Well, how did this end? That, that was it. Really? Get in, in the cars and left. That's it. There's been no communication, no nothing. It just oh, that happened that night, and that oh, is God. it. Oh, God. This is just this is open. This is it open. really is all because you had a with you that didn't know nothing about nothing. And running her and mouth. running her mouth. From what Mimi told me, this bitch has been nothing but a nightmare. And she's fooling her damn self if she thinks she's gonna mess with me. I really need to meet up with Jocelyn and talk to this for real. Because not only have you tried me, she don't try you, Mimi. She goes there, girl. And I got you, boo. I got you. understand you have to be there for your man, but I just ask that she at least be understanding. That's why, as right. bad as my mouth is, I never came back, because I know how men can say anything. You, right. ne you never really know. Uh-oh. Late, mama. Hi. Hi. I wanted to meet with Rashida and K. Michelle to talk to them about, you know, what was going on with me and Scrappy, and Rashida, because her and Scrappy are really, really close. They're like brother and sister, so maybe she can give me some insight as to what's going on in his head. Oh, you all right. Give us the 100. Scrappy calls me. He wants to meet. He wants to talk. I meet with him, and he's just like, well, I called you here because I don't want to do this no more. I'm like, what? You weren't there for me when I had my asthma attack. You went to work, you put work before me. I was on my deathbed. I'm the one that pushed, like I'm pushing, like he needs to go to the hospital. Right. It sounds crazy for it to be one little small thing above all the shit you done been through. And you done been through it's it. And that's what I'm, you know, it's one it's thing. It's just that and one. just last week you texted me, you at the club, you at the velvet room, it's three something in the morning, all I'm around a million bad and all I can think about is you. This was last Sunday, so you just got a change of a heart all of a sudden a week later? It pisses me off that one minute Scrappy wants to be with me and the next minute he doesn't. At this point, I don't know if I can just deal with it anymore. Like, I'm gonna honestly be done. He says he's done and he comes back, like I'm gonna really be done and there's no coming back. I, I don't understand it and I know that's gotta be killing you. It's got to be. You think it's somebody else? Honestly, so I, I don't think it's nobody else. It's just him? I think it's him. Scrappy's not happy with himself. He's not happy with his life. He just 
issues. You talk about emotions and affectionate. Sometimes I feel like, man, you need to man up, hell. Right. You right. more emotional than me, and I'm the female. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but so. you know what it sounds like? You know what's crazy? It's, it sounds like that's something that he needs to learn. And it sounds like you're the perfect person to teach him, but he doesn't allow you that. Girl, he I doesn't give she you that. Teach him. You know what I'm I saying? Should mama, have to teach his him mama that. was supposed to teach I him should, that. That's too late. If, it's if, too if he late. Went, he's he's now, old. That ain't he's, happen. he's out of the he's, house. He's wrong, his right. mama, she, his mama's still babying him, so she's still around mm -hmm. babying him. What his mama needs to do is say, start at point A and take it all the way to Z. Because obviously she skipped some steps along the way. That you ain't dog. Don't teach him nothing. Teach him how to look at your butt and say goodbye. Give him the give him the deuces. <laughs> So my girl Erica hit me up so we can meet up, do a little shopping, and vent about these crazy men that we have in our lives. I might need a little advice anyway. So girl, what's been going on? <sighs> Dealing with Scrappy's maggot ass. I talked to Kay, and Kay tells me he shows up to his mixtape release party with Shay. I meet up and talk to him, and he just like, oh, we friends, and you know I love you, and I have to continue to tell her we friends. Well, if the bitch your friend, why do you have to continue to tell her you friends, first of all? I think he's lying. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, I know the <laughs> lying. Like, you not fooling me, you fooling your damn self. Right. Mm -hmm. So go do what you want to do, and I'm going to definitely do what I want to do. I'm going to be happy, and that's without you. The more I think about my relationship with Scrappy, the more I think it needs to end. We both were maybe hoping for something to work out in a relationship, but we're holding on to something that's just not going to work out. I had to realize that he's still a little boy, so he still has a lot of growth to do. Right. And that, that just comes with Mama D, but ultimately he's going to end up like her. He's going to be 50 years old, miserable. <laughs> You know, with one female this week and the next week. I mean, like Mama D, different dude every week because someone has to fill that void. And I think he's going to be just like her because it's all he's seen. Right. Well, you know, it is what it is. But enough about me. What's Girl, going on with you, honey? Listen. Ever since Kirk and I went and met with Deb, I've been struggling on what to do. I know I hurt him. I wasn't intending on hurting him. And right now, I'm just stuck. To be honest with you, I felt like we argue about music that trickles to the bedroom, we ain't talking, be going down, and it's just our like it's affecting everything, you know? But then I'm torn again because I'm like, well, what about my what career? about the career that puts money on the table? What what the hell am I gonna do? You better pick you something. <laughs> Out here, go home, make it do what it do, and y'all need to just hash it all out. I'm willing to give it a try, but I'm going to have to talk to him about it because I'm like, you know, we're going to have to make a decision. Jesus. Come this way. I was looking at this. Oh, girl, now, I, honey, with these little things here. It's okay. It's <laughs> quite all right. A lot has happened since I saw Rashida last time, and as much as I want to talk to her about ending my engagement, she sounded so tense on the phone, and I know my problems are gonna have to wait. It's been a minute. Yes, it has. How have we been? Girl, I'm on pins and needles. I'm about to start sweating. Ooh. You just don't even know. I'm just like, I think I'm pregnant. Woo! So you think you're pregnant? You, you know. took any tests? You. So you haven't done anything? I haven't done anything. I have a doctor's appointment coming up. So you late? Yeah. I'm How late? late? Two months. Let me just say this. Whoa, Rashida! Almost, but let me say this. I think maybe I'm in denial in a sense. I think you are, but do you think you ready? Do you think Kirk's ready? As of where we stand right now with him and I, this ain't the best time. <laughs> With, between me and him with what's going on with us. We just been back and forth and with, and the main thing being kids and money. I feel like dropping this on him right now, I don't know what it'll do to us. Actually, that topic could be like y'all breakthrough, really. You think? Because, mm -hmm. honey, listen, we need some kind of breakthrough. Because to be honest with you, it's like, we haven't really been like this kind of bad with, you know, each other in a while. I don't know, E. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for you, girl. Look at my <laughs> hands. I'm like, ooh. At least I'm laughing.
laughing. I ain't laughed all day. It's good. I've been in a horrible mood. So you notice every pink, 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 and pink. So you know what I'm yeah. hoping for. <laughs> So my girls then threw me a baby shower, which is a much needed distraction from what's been going on with me and my personal life. So you gonna have natural? Are you gonna push this one out? I want to because I did. I wasn't able to with Kai. Ooh, well have fun. I made it to six and a half centimeters and I just couldn't go and no it was more. Rapping. I had my baby during sex. Girls. You had the baby. Oh, 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 hey, God. So did I. You opened the baby. Everybody, yeah. Even if you can't stand them, get it popping. <laughs> so bring that baby down. Yes. Stop. Stand him. Where is Kurt? He's somewhere on the lake or doing whatever, and I've been doing my own thing, working and worrying about my damn self. Is he in the house? We're still together. Okay. Um, I mean, it hasn't got to the point of like separation. Don't wanna, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's put it like to this. death. Do you part? Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. You know that's, what that's my serious that's face. That's what it's supposed to be. I tried to even say, okay, what's going on with him for him to feel that, that way, way? About you. About me. Right. About us bringing another child into the world. You know what right. I'm saying? Because and I I'm question like, that. You think he's doing something and then he's, Girl, he's looking at you like something. you are? Mm -hmm. that's, you know that, you know damn well that's how we think. That's the That's how I damn That's That's how I think too. That's, like that's, 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 that's what you really happened. Really Yeah, I was sitting here thinking like, damn, if you do got a new girl, well, damn, you know, do y'all, because evidently she got you tripping. Oh, let's not think of that. Don't even say or think yeah. about new girls. Don't put that in. And, and that's what I, I think I was talking to you. I mm -hmm. said, let me not put that into existence. Yes, right? please, Jesus, don't do it. I can definitely relate with you because Big Drew and I separated when I was pregnant. And he wasn't there for me and he didn't support me. And I went through it by myself. And that's not something that I would ever want for you and, right. or, or my worst enemy. So I really hope that you guys work it out. I can't keep worrying about this right now. All I know is I need to keep it moving and keep it pushing. But I will tell you this, anything that's going on in the dark, it will come to the light. I'm happy that you put this together. And I'm just glad, so I just Let's want us toast. to enjoy our little food here. Let's toast this water, because you know I have a toast. A bitch can't have no well, yeah. me. <laughs> out of the house, so I had to boom, boom, pick up the phone, call my girls up, because I want to paint the baby room and I need some help. I hooked them up with some drinks and passed them some paintbrushes. Thank y'all so much. You Why do you pick this color? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I picked that color? color because I was trying to fool y'all. But it's a boy, so it's going to be like a cream and blue. I have the blue here, too. I didn't break that out. I'm so excited. It's such a blessing, and I can't wait for him to get here. The blessing part is I've had an amazing pregnancy, but the the part about everything is me and Kirk have been going through it. I'm sure y'all may have heard and seen. Blogs. You know, in the blogs, you already know. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't talk to you about it. Mm -hmm. And I talked to all y'all about it. You know what I'm saying? And things escalated even more to more blogs, more pictures. So I went and talked to an attorney about separation. Rashida, you have to say, you're my inspiration. Yes, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> and people be saying that, they be like, if y'all break up, it's over. It's over for everybody. What he's saying is, I'm sorry, I felt like it was just bad time. I want to be with my family. I want to be with you, you know it. But for how long? It, it, that's my thing. It feels all too familiar. One minute, Kirk wants his family, and the next minute, you want to lay up with a hoe. These men have to realize they can't have it both ways. I saw a press conference about Scrappy and his weed situation and his rehabilitation. What is going on? The last time I talked to him, he was going into rehab, he wanted to change, and he told me that he is sorry that I had to endure all the drama with him and his mother. And he's never apologized for that. Wow. And just, you know, how much he loved me, and he's sorry, and he was just like, you know, and I want you to just really consider our engagement. Like, but you know what I had to realize? I don't have to be with Scrappy to have a family. Amen. Okay. I'm happy single and drama free. Yes. Okay. Yes. Amen. Toast to that, honey. We're going to toast to being drama free drama and drama free. What else? And ain't 
taking no <laughs> Look, I don't feel good about having to file paperwork on Scrappy. I wish it didn't even have to come to this. And it even makes me a little sad that Mama D's mad at me again after it took so long for us to even have a relationship. Hey, girl. Ooh. Hey, boo. What's up? Rashida has always been the voice of reason, so I know I can talk to her about anything. What's going on? Dealing with these issues with my baby father, as usual. What is he doing? We back at enforcing the child support. He doesn't want to pay anything. And I'm like, dude, she lives with me. Was he giving you money? Girl, don't want to pay no child support. Don't want to do nothing. I hate that Erica and Scrappy are going through all of this. And at the end of the day, I love both of them, but I'm trying to stay neutral as possible. These men, child, what is it? I don't know what these guys be thinking. This fool curtain went and got a whole condo slash he claimed to be an office where he can work. He's tripping. And I'm sitting here like, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. You telling me you don't want me to open those stores, but you feel like you're entitled to and can go with your own agenda and just grab money, sign artists, get in businesses, get buildings, do all kinds of that you're doing and all of that. Why don't you go on and open your store without his knowledge? Put his name on the lease and let him find okay, out But first it. of all, no, I'm not putting his name on I'm so ready to do this without Kirk. Obviously, he's not being supportive. Right. And I just want to make sure that I get my golden dream off the ground that I want to do. I think you should just do it. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You ain't never lying, because that's where I feel like I'm at right now. You know what? Why didn't you tell me about y'all grand opening? Carly texted me talking about the grand opening to the store. Wait, what? What grand opening? Is that something that y'all doing together? No, it's not with me. Wait a minute, and she didn't talk to you? Hell no. Now, Carly told me that she was thinking about moving forward with some girl from Vegas. But damn, bitch, I didn't think you was going to be moving that fast. I had talked to Carly, and Carly was telling me that she had came to you and y'all were supposed to be doing it Absolutely. together. Absolutely. And then I know that she was back and forth and saying, I don't know if the situation's going to really work out with Erica, but I told, I gave her advice. But the say. same way she talked to you, she could have came and talked to me. This little shady heifer. You know what? I'm glad I didn't go into business with her trifling ass. But how dare her? Me and Carly have been talking about opening a business for months, and now she's having a grand opening without me? Oh, Carly, baby, you just started something you sure can't finish. I want to do my research. I'm going to find out with who, right. where, what's going on. I'm going to pop up. I'm going to let Carly clean up her own mess, but I'm a damn sure be there to see her talk her way out of this one. I don't wish nothing bad on her. Me neither. But it's going to come back. She really is a messy-ass bitch. Messy and trifling. Came in support. I'm really proud of you. But is it nice pieces you like? I mean, no, it really is. This is yeah, nice. Is. I'm happy I can be here. I'm, I'm so happy you came. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta go. So I just came in. I really wanted it to. It means so much to me that you yeah, came in support. No, you like, have you to have support no the people idea. that support you. Bye, boo. I love you. Bye, bye. Thank you, bye. baby. After months of planning, Carly goes and opens the store with someone else. And the worst part about it is, the stinking ass heifer wasn't even woman enough to tell me. It's a success. It's a success. And you being in Atlanta. I'm here. I'll tell you one thing, I plan on opening the store, but mine will not be like this. I hope not. You mean to tell me you had enough time to do all this, but you cannot call Erica and tell her that you were moving on with someone else? Now what kind of friend would turn around and do another friend like that? That is not boss, Carly. That's foul. Well, this is not. Oh, hey, what? You, know. you guys came to support? Um, um negative. Did you want to call it? Uh, which well, one? I was invited by Rashida, not by you. Uh, well, I called you, but you didn't answer. I did tell you, Carly. Talk to Erica. And I called her. The professional thing to do was say, hey, Erica, look, this is what I'm trying to do. Open it, boo. Yes. I don't have time. Yes. So this is all you. I have a partner. Nice job. Huh. <laughs> Oh, you're the brains behind it. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello. My girl has five stores in Vegas, honey, and a nail 
So well, congratulations to you. It's just and shady. Any way you put it, it's, it's shady. No, honey. Well, are you here to support or just like come and check us? Like, I don't know. Oh, what's your name? I didn't. I'm dying, Pete. Dime. Jessica Dime. Dime. Okay, yeah. Jessica Dime. Nice to meet you. This is the issue right here, though. It doesn't matter. Don't have Nick standing right here. Oh, that's fine. You can walk that way. But it's Y'all both smell kind of like, you know, two boxy twins with the hating. It's no hate. Who comes to somebody's event to check them? I do. I don't know who this Ronald McDonald fun size plastic Barbie looking bitch is with this pink has a lace front, but she better mind her business. I know you. Do you? I know Kayla Shell. How you? Yes. For sale. <laughs> if there were any doubts in my mind about what I was about to do, they all disappeared when Mr. Kirk let Ashy's ass come and disrespect me in my driveway. Payback is a bitch. I can't open a store, but you can spend money on your non buzz having ass artists, a secret apartment, go over budget on the house and not even discuss it with me. Oh, we got beef in the Frost household right now. I had to go get all this from the safe deposit box. While Kirk is on the road, I'm about to head a sale of the century and auction off his sh- Whoa, what's going on in here? Hi, Hi. Shelly, how you doing? Good, good. how are you? Good. I see, it's official. Yes, it is. I support my girl Rashida 100%, especially since she had my back at Lil Ugly, Carly's grand opening. But this shit right here is something else. She and Miss Shalina laying out all Kirk's belongings to sell them, and Kirk has no idea. So we got Rolex. Yes, we got Versace Hello, jewelry. Versace. Yes, we do, and we have Cuban links. All that is for real. Can you believe that? This is, you know, I think he think he's Mr. T or somebody, don't he? We got two thousand. We up. got fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't say I blame Rashida for taking action. She wants her store, and she deserves it. Unlike some other trolls I know, and after everything Kirk has put Rashida through all of the years, enough is enough. But I can't see this ending well. So I'm out here goddamn hustling. Mm -hmm. He goes and signs some damn female that ain't even got nothing popping off. Like he went to give the nanny. Like, what do he be thinking about? You dipped into my business's account money that I was trying to open my storefront with. Exactly. For you not to have my back, but to go and do whatever you want to do and never even discuss it with me, that's what pisses me off. Your store is so much more important than what he's doing now. He's going out of town with Ashley or whoever his artist is supposed to be. Here we go again. Here we go again. What they at? I hope they ain't in no cabin. Oh, my God. Better not be. Kirk and I have been through hell and back. And after everything he's done to me, from the cabin to the nanny to the stuff with my mom, I still forgave him. So it hurts even more that we're still not on the same page. This auction right here is something that I need to do to prove a point. And you best believe Kirk is going to hear this loud and clear. I have more stuff. Um, Excuse me. (laughs) Bikes. Okay. And see that right there? I can't wait to sell that. That's gonna trigger that ass. Mm-hmm. I don't have to run over no bike no more, but I can sure <laughs> sell them. So what if he come back early? He just pop up. I'll just be ready. I got your back. Whatever goes down, it's going of down. Of course he's gonna be pissed. I'm game for I'm it. I'm game too. I just want a front wall seat. Cause I feel like honestly, I I is this, about certain is stuff, this worse than everything else we've gone through? Hell no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're fixing to have an auction. If I can get you all to go take your seats. Tonight, I'm auctioning off some of my husband's prized possessions so I can make back the money that he stole from our joint account. Now, he knows nothing about this auction, just like I ain't know nothing about the secret apartment and have it up. He be doing. Make sure when you're bidding, you raise your hand high. So my crazy husband doesn't think he needs to consult with me before he makes big financial decisions that can ultimately hurt our business and our damn personal life. Two can play that game. 
I'm about to raise some money to open my store. We got the little hot rod. Let's go ahead and sell this one now. Two hundred dollars start. How about three? Three over for five. Five five sold. Eight hundred dollars. The Rolex red face diamond bezel watch. Twenty thousand dollars. I got thirty-one. How about thirty-two? Forty-one. How about forty-two? Sold. Forty-five thousand dollars. Buyer yes. number five six one. Next item up for bid is the Rolls Royce Ghost. Two thousand thirteen. Twelve thousand miles. Someone give me a hundred eighty thousand dollars to start it. There's a hundred eighty. Looking for one ninety. One ninety. There's one ninety now. Two hundred ten. Looking for two hundred ten. There's two hundred ten thousand dollars. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Two hundred ten thousand. Thank you. Damn. Thank you. Damn. The yellow Yamaha Banshee. It's a 2006. Hey! Whoa, this is what y'all waiting for, ain't it? I had to come to my homeboy, Kirk's defense. I would have been less of a man if I'd let somebody else get his foal or no, for real. I'd rather go to somebody that he could eventually get it back from. Yep. 65. How about seven? 7,000. Look for 888. Eight. Pause. Come on, pause. Pause, pause, stop all that, stop. I'm actually not surprised to see Kirk jock ass up in here, so he probably went and told him. But what I am surprised about is, he got the nerve to have his raggedy dog with him. So really, you think this is the way to do it? Yeah. We drove 100 miles per hour in a pouring down rain to get here and shut this auction down. Everybody who know me knows how I feel about my toy. So I'm just gonna say, my wife is suffering from temporary insanity. And if you acting like you crazy, trust me, I got a cure for your ass. Excuse me. What are you doing? Mr. Like, no, no. Keep it going. You're keep not keeping on, anything Put going. Hands off me. Now, how did I know that Kirk was gonna show up. You can't keep nothing a secret in Atlanta. What are you doing coming in here with her? I, Why am y'all I might not want to go there with me. Who are you? Who are you? Don't you address me. No, I don't address me. Don't address me. Don't address me. It's not my fault that he cheated on you, OK? Now, this good-for-nothing little tramp-ass heifer has the audacity to speak on my personal life. She's overstepped her boundaries for the last time, and now I'm about to show her who's the boss. Something's wrong with your brain. Do anything wrong. First of all, you don't even have two nickels okay, to rub together. Not... As a matter of fact, right now, you don't have a record deal. You want to around with the big dogs? As the VP of d Entertainment, your contract is null and void, bitch. Cancel. You and that bitch keep it moving. That's the problem right now. You and the stupid shit you be doing. Honestly, it feel like uh, the auction's over with. There's people creeping up out of here. <laughs> I guess this means I'm not getting my banshee. You're just being totally disrespectful. You said go out, sign some artists, make some money. I do that, and then you react by selling my shit. You got them spending all the money out the Unbossy Employees account. Like, that is cool. Not talking to me about it. You feel that is, is like stabbing so, you in the side like a goddamn knife in the gut. Would Don't. you like your to be at the auction? You know, would you, like me you to do spending this to the you? money is like that. What you hiding the money? Buckhead apartment is like yeah, a stab. Here's the thing. What's your money? I didn't touch your money. You I did touched. too. Who started the company? We did. We are way overboard with the bull going back and forth. I'm not doing it. I don't even know what the to say. I'm done. I'm out of here. Bye, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how you feeling? Hi. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. I'm a little bit nervous because Rashida's going to be watching. Don't be nervous. We need you to relax. I need you to have a great show and just do your thing. Tonight is a huge night for me. Rashida was about to rip up my contract because she thinks I'm disrespecting her and all that, but I asked her to come see me perform so we could keep it about the music. And I'm going to do my very best to put on a great show for Rashida and, you know, better Rashida up a little bit so she can keep me around. So, you know, the girl Ashley, she's performing here tonight. I told Kirk's little crusty ass artist I was going to come see her perform, but as the VP of d Entertainment and not as Kirk's wife, I was ready to throw her ass off the label. But I said, hold up, I'll refrain, because right now we talking business. Is this girl talented enough for d to invest his time and money? I guess I'm about to find out. The bitch who tried to turn Wait, up at the, the girl auction. From the auction? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you sure that her and Kirk are strictly friends or strictly, you know, it's I a business him. relationship? And he was like, it's nothing going on. Woo, 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 woo. You know, I'm trying to get the label jumping in. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Woo. But I'm sitting here like, it's just coming at you sideways, ain't coming at you for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I'm 
proud of you. You being the bigger person. I'm, I'm trying to be the bigger person because but I said. Let's see what this case, you know. I said, let me see if this Hogan thing, so. number one, what Kirk done signed. Can she dance? Girl, I don't know what. I don't know what the Hogan do. She get on my goddamn nerves. That's what she can do. What's up, everybody in Atlanta? How y'all doing tonight? Entertainment, the label, yes, I have a new artist by the name of Ashley Nicole, a sexy new artist by the name of Ashley Nicole. And Thank you. She's Thank you. Gonna She's give us a first thing. Can I get a round of applause for Ashley Nicole? Before this sugar joint. trying to figure out how you gonna come invite me to come hear you sing and bitch you ain't singing because ain't nobody interested in no new artist lip syncing looking like an old we bitch get it together A performance. <laughs> if Rashida still want to drop me after that, she crazier than I thought she was. Hello, ladies. Hello. <laughs> How you been? I'm all right, boo. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What you think? What you guys think? I'd love to hear feedback. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to respond, because I don't want to come off as the mean girl, but boo, your performance was whack. Don't get me wrong. Despite the lip syncing, I heard a little bit of voice under there. And the song is kind of cool. But boo boo, listen, ain't nobody gonna take you serious if you can't take your performance to the next level. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers. Okay. When performing and you're not singing live, uh -huh. you need to hold the mic up to your mouth to make everybody at least think that you are. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you was. Everybody seems to a background track these days. I mean, I don't know what the big deal is. Everybody knows Rashida likes to be treated with the utmost respect, so I'm letting her have it. I couldn't get past the eye feet. It's a lot of lace. It is, it's a lot. It's all lace. After what about? Kirk actually helped me pick it out. Again? Yes. And we, you listen to his ass again? We went from, you know, slutty to more classy. Now that's just wrong. That's why I need female input. You know, messing around with your husband, he don't know what the he be doing sometimes. Oh. That's why I need you. Are you still gonna drop me? It's a possibility. I'm it's still dangling in my mind. I still got to think on it. Don't think I'm not catching the little messing around with my husband in your windows. But I'm gonna keep it professional. From what I was able to hear, despite the lip syncing, she ain't all that, but she might have a little bit of a voice. And if we go to the dermatologist and get the right stylist, she might have a little look. I need you to like try to work with me. This is the most people I've ever seen. Oh wow. Yeah. So I was a, I was nervous. It wasn't that bad, was it? I'm trying to figure out why Rashida letting this little whack ass girl pop off. After her behavior at the auction and then that mediocre performance, I have no idea why Rashida's even considering keeping her around. I don't want any more problems, so I'm coming to you being as humble as I possibly can. I hope Kirk told you this time. We're going on another promo tour. I want to go on this promo tour. I want to be a family. I want to be one. Promo tour family? One? Y'all a family? Oh, hell no. Rashida must have lost her mind, and I'm about to help her find it. Shoe fly. Bye-bye. Y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea who Rashida's guard dog is, but she's not feeling me at all. Girl, promo, promo again. again. I'm about right at the goddamn edge, but I'm gonna go talk to him and see what's going on. Talk some sense into him. Promo. Yeah, Mr. Promo, we yeah, finna have a combo. Now. Kirk went ahead and took old Ashy out on the promo tour, despite my reservations. But I'm trying to be an adult about it. I'm just gonna choose to trust and believe that my husband is doing the right thing in handling business. Girl, 
it should be way further done for all the money we done spent, number one. Number two is it looked like a goddamn junkyard. Erica said she wanted to talk to me, so I figured I'd drag her along so I could check on the state of my money draining new house. I have to agree, out here. <laughs> It does look like a junkyard. I really don't like to get involved in grown folks' business, but after witnessing Kirk's little artist disrespect to Rashida for the second time, I can't figure out why Rashida's laying down and taking it. What is really going on here? You know, I told Kirk, I was like, listen, we is not about to be drained dry over the and it's been hundreds of thousands of dollars. So Kirk dipping in the money. Where is Black has it now? Where, where, where he at? <laughs> Listen to you. Remember the promo tour situation. The lace gods who came down yes, talking about- the performance about with his little promo artist super and thought, all that. Lace yeah. thought. He's like, down there. I didn't- Why didn't you go? Ask, because, for, for, what the f I look like? You didn't want to go? Girl, please. What is Kirk really doing with her? Like, for real? Is it promo for, you know, promo for music or is it promo for you? Or, or something else. Exactly. <laughs> and I would think to hope and pray that he wouldn't be a dumbass fool. First yeah. of all, she is a thought, she is a nobody, and you would be a dummy. I'm sorry, this <laughs> done been with nannies. He done been in the cabins. Oh, like, no, you didn't. Come on. <laughs> yep, yep. Shots fired. I know you want to see the good in him. Hell, I done been through the same thing with whack ass crappy. And crappy. that's what I'm saying. I want to see the you, good in his it, fat it, ass. But guess what? It <laughs> all came to the light. I just want you to stop and just really evaluate everything. Do you think I even should be worried? Yeah, hell yeah. The thing that pisses me off about it, it's just the way that Kirk maneuvers around sometimes. It's just not it's cool. It's so suspicious. It's yes. just crazy. It's you like, know? come on, like, what you doing? I'm not trying to put nothing in your head, but just woman to woman, just stop and think about everything. Erica's been making me think about all the things I don't want to think about. I mean, Kirk's done some pretty disrespectful stuff over the time, and it's like, at this point, I gotta stop making up excuses for my husband's behavior and start making some tough choices about our future. I'm just seeing some of the same signs, like Bambi the same chick that was texting Scrappy. We was engaged. F was his friend. Right. I'm not saying necessarily that's what Kirk's doing, but I've been through it, and right. that's exactly what was going on with me. So I'm just telling you, be smart about the situation. Like, check this I'm just thinking, you not that stupid. Of all the that we've been through, they are. I thought Lil Scrappy wasn't either, but guess what, he was. I don't have room, time, or none of that for no more nothing, okay? For real, because if you shouldn't Kirk have to is endure doing it. anything wrong, you shouldn't have to endure it. It's called the Big D, divorce. This is women, women they be tripping, and men they be slipping. I dropped the kids off at my mom's house so I could head my ass over to Kirk's hotel and figure out why his artist is answering his hotel room phone this time of damn night. I swung by Erica's to scoop her up so we could take a little road trip. I got on boots just in case I need to stomp a bitch, okay? Because I will. I feel bad for Rashida. But with that being my girl and all, slick my hair back, put on my sneakers, and I'm ready. King versus queen. The emotion, a rocky coaster, or so it seems. You love me, then you hate me, you want me, that's the thing. I need Kirk Foss room number, please. Rashida is not playing. She pulled the wife card, threw down Kirk's credit card, and voila, we got the room number. Ooh, Kirk, you about to get the shock of your life. Kirk has done some foul to me over the years, but this right here, take the goddamn K. He and his dumbass artist Ashley supposed to be on the road doing their little promo tour. But when I reached out to call my husband at his hotel room tonight, guess who answers the damn phone? Who is that? Open the door. Me and my girl Erica are here to pop up, and if necessary, we ready to pop off. Where's what? Rashida, you and you and her are Move not coming in here. Are you serious? Here, check under the bed too. Really? He's not in here. Turn down. Are you serious? I'm not him. Hello, Rashida. Hello. Are you, you see the scenery? Do you do you see what's going on here? Well, oh. You see now? Yeah. Yes, Rashida. I have a girlfriend. Her name is Jamie, and I've been with her for two years now. Rashida, stay thinking I'm smacking. 
Nash and Kurt, but guess what, honey? He's not my type. God okay, damn. but you know what? You need to tone the <laughs> down, because you know what? I don't Every trust time. no bitch. Every because you act like a thought. Okay, okay, she like girls. So I might have been a little wrong about her sexual preferences, but I was dead right that she's a disrespectful little bitch. Wait, first off, please. You know what, please, Hold how y'all doing? Good. I'm confused, I don't know what's going on here. What's she looking for I Kirk? I was looking for Kirk. I'm Kirk's wife, okay? But she works for y'all. Correct. She should act as an employee. And how has she not? She coming at me sideways like she no. That's how she acts. All right, y'all. So, obviously, Kirk is not in here. Do you see him under the bed? Do you no, see him anywhere I else? Don't. This is who I've been with for a very long time. Well, that's good to and know. And you've been mistaken. I'm looking for my husband. 31, down the hall. Okay. Rashida obviously has issues with Kurt. I mean, it's not my fault she feels like he's cheating on her. And she should be embarrassed as hell that she came all the way down here and ran up on me like a crazy woman. That's your girlfriend. Yeah. Good to know. Y'all can, can go continue. find Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. What the f Shout out to Erica Dixon. my girl Erica Dixon in forever. And we must have a lot of catching up to do, because last time I checked, her and Mama D hated each other. You did such an amazing job. Thank you. This lady right here. I see your new body. Yeah. OK, girl. Louie, thicker than a nigga yeah. sitting up. This wind that y'all become so cool, because you know, at one it's point in time. It kind of happened. I never would have thought. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at them girls. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> they have a new lease on life. Me and Erica back in the day used to not agree on anything, bump head, but you know what? I don't need to be wasting any time beefing with Princess Imani's mother. And the same goes for the Bam. I definitely don't want to get the Bam mad because I don't want her to put her hoofs into my heart. We are all family now. I have an announcement. You know, Another one? Bam is scrappy. Have gotten married. Are you still supposed to be making announcements about what? I don't you know, know she can't hold water, so let her make her announcement. Go ahead. I can't hold water. Okay. She's expecting. That's awesome. I know. Scrappy and I talked a little bit strictly about co-parenting. Of course, I know him and Addie, aka the Bam, are expecting, but it is what it is. No grudges on my end, but I must say, the petty part of me does love the fact that Bambi now has to deal with Mama D and her big ass mouth for the rest of her life. Shirley, let them talk. Let me and you mingle with the guests. All right. Rashida is my girl and always will be, but our schedules have been so crazy. We haven't been able to catch up. I've been hearing all types of crazy stories about Rashida's marriage, and I've been dying to find out what's really going on. Right on the street, you know, I'm hearing all types of stuff. Oh, God. So, we had been separated for a long time. Like, once I found out, I was like, get the f away from me. Wait, what the girl name is again? <laughs> oh, so her name is Jasmine. So do you see you guys reconciling? I don't really know. It's a hard, it's a hard, hard pill to swallow. You know, he just been back and forth and with trying to get his relationship together with me. And the fact that you over here now packed up all your out of the place you was living and just deep on your way back in the door, just talking about, just let me be with my kids, just let me be with my kids. I mean, the house is big as I'm never on the other side you of the house. You let him back in. So. You <laughs> did! <laughs> you don't think you're being too nice? Well, finish him, Seth. But I, I needed to finish you, him. You do, you do. You know what, on some real We built this family. We built these businesses. We did all of this we together. We or you? We. Look, I know how to do things. Here now. It ain't no let he still got home. access to you, though. He's gonna have access to me, just like Scrappy's gonna have access to you. Because, uh, thank you very much. Uh, just like that. Rashida's trying to compare her situation with Kirk to my relationship with my baby daddy. No, sweetheart. Not if Kirk is still living with you. I know how hard it is to let a man go that you love and have built a whole life with. But to be honest, Rashida's going way too easy on Kirk. It hurts my feelings to know that Rashida's just constantly dealing with the same thing over and over again with Kirk. Back in the days, Rashida would have kicked Kirk's ass, Miss Charlene would have gave him the business, and we would have been pulled up on Jasmine. You 
don't want to sit down and I talk? I sure do not. You know why? Why not? We should all have a conversation. You think so? We should see this really good. When you ready, call me. No, I you know. Hey. <laughs> she, she a bad dancer. Out of two rooms, out of looking at the anti-gun rally and I'm like wow this is a really good turnout for a really great cause. I'm just glad everybody showed up being peaceful and just showing love and unity. This is a good thing man. Hey. Yes. Hey. What's well, up? Well, well, how are you? Mm. Glad to see you in a while. I know. We've been up to Spice Erica. Erica Spice. Hi, nice to meet you. Likewise. You know, I haven't been hearing from Tommy in a while. Oh, but I received an invitation with a date and a time. I don't know what it is. Did you get that same invitation? I did. You did? And I just was like, out the blue? I'm going to figure out what, uh, what was happening. Me too. I'm going to support yeah, her whenever but she got I mean, going on. But she be on that Tommy so. She be on that Tommy she, <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, how you? Ah, hey. How no, are thank you? you. No, thank I you. I can't get an ice seeing you. I did. No, what I do? No, What I do I'm something real to you? saucy with you. Oh, Lord. You what already know. You already know. I'm a normal human being who has made a mistake, and I'm on a Several path. Several mistakes. You have an amazing wife. Mm-hmm. And I think you have the right wife. Because if I did me. Oh, Lord. No. Yeah, 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 that's a problem. No, you probably do one of high kicks and kick my ass <laughs> over. No spice of flip on I your know. ass. <laughs> Relationship with Imani's father, I learned how to approach my love life quietly. Me and my new man are a very low key pair, and I want to keep it that way. No stress is best for a pregnant woman. Who's the pappy? Who's the pappy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the pappy? Is this the guy I met at my birthday? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's 11 Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.